um, what about your growing techniques, like growing outdoor at scale like that? Like a 50,000 plants is quite an amazing um, operation. And do you guys, you obviously don't grow in the winter, I'm assuming? In the winter, we grow indoor and we grow in greenhouses. We do not grow outdoor in, in the winter. What's, um, the, what's the heating cost on something like that? Is it astronomical? Yeah, it's not cheap. <laughs> uh, it's but not a lot cheaper cheap. than California. A lot cheaper than California. Yeah. Labor costs are less, uh, electricity costs are less, fuel costs are less, everything's cheaper here. Um, you know, one of the big things for me, um, when we moved here, right, I'm a legacy grower. I brought legacy growers with me from California because that's what we do, right? We, we've been growing weed for a long time. When you take a guy who's never grown more than like, say, at, at one point I had 500 plants on each of my farms. That felt really big and scary to me back then. And then you try to grow 10,000 plants. Um, the things that we did with 500 plants don't work when you have 10,000 plants. Those, those processes don't scale. And so our first season here was rough. Um, and so we went out and hired a guy named Charlie McKenzie, who was a badass grower. He has, uh, you know, the degree from Georgia State, the horticulture degree. He's got the commercial hemp experience. He's got the large scale greenhouse cut flower experience. So he knows commercial agriculture and he was able to bring those commercial ag practices into our legacy cultivation business. And that's really been the big difference maker for us.